Hi there. Today we're really excited to show off iMindMap 5.2's brand new feature, Customize Styles. We have had lots of feedback from our users who have asked for the ability to have even more control over their mind maps. So we've listened and we're very pleased to introduce Customize Styles. Now this feature will allow you to create styles and themes using your own preferences for branch and text colour, for font style and size, for branch thickness and style. You can then save your choices and use your personalised style whenever you want. Now this feature is available within Elements, Pro and Ultimate editions of the iMindMap software. So let's take a look in a bit more detail. So if you're a Windows user, all you need to do is go to the Design tab and you will find the Styles box in front of you. If you're on a Mac, this will be on the main toolbar under Styles. Now for this purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to explore the Windows version, but the functionality is very similar across all the operating systems, so that's Windows, Mac and Linux. Now the Styles function works by clicking on one of the styles and your mind map will change the look accordingly. One click and your mind map changes. Although we have provided you with an array of different styles, you now have the option to create your own. This is great if you want to create something very personal or customised to exactly how you want your mind map to look. So let's start by looking at how you can create your own colour set. All you need to do is click on colours on the drop down arrow and you will see a number of different colour choices or colour palettes displayed in front of you. Now if you click on one of these you will see your mind map change instantly to match up with the colour selection. At the bottom of the table or the drop down menu you'll also be able to see a create new option. This will allow you to create your own colour sets. So I'm going to click on this and you will see a box similar to this will appear. Now you've got branches 1 to 8 plus font colour, boundary fill and boundary line boxes. By clicking on the small black arrow on each of the boxes you will find our colour chooser that appears. By simply clicking on a colour and clicking OK this colour be, will be applied to the box. You can do this with all of your branches by selecting a bespoke colour and also the font colour, the boundary fill and the boundary line. I am just going to do an array of different blue colours here. Let me go through all of this. And just one extra feature, if you're really specific about the colour you would like, you can use the HSB option and you've got a complete range of colours here. So if there's something very specific you want, you can choose that there. Lastly, you need to save your colour selection. So I'm going to call this blues and click save. Now if I go back to my colour selection, clicking on the drop down arrow, you will see, should be, at the top here, blues, and that's the custom set that I've just created. So if I click on that, you see my mind map will change and use those colours in the background. Secondly, let's have a look at fonts, and this works in a very similar way. So you've got a list of fonts here which you can choose from. By clicking those, you'll be able to see the fonts changing directly on your own map. And if I go down to the bottom, you'll see a Create New Font option. By clicking on this, again, you've got branches 1 to 8, and you've got boxes where you can set the font type. So by clicking on the letter A, here you can choose the font type from the whole list included. You can choose the style, so whether you want plain, bold, italic or bold italic. And you can choose the size. So by clicking on 48, maybe 36 is a bit better, and click OK, you will see that my font has been applied to branch 1. Now it will give you a nice preview as well. You can also set the variant. So if you want all of the words on the branch 1 to be uppercase, lowercase or camel case, you can choose that here. A little interesting fact if for those who don't know what camel case means, this is for words that have a mixture of upper and lower case letters. So for example, I mind map because the um, M's are capitalised. If you press camel case, 
this will allow you to keep those. Um, camel refers to the, the capitals which are bumps in the word, hence the word camel. OK, so I can go through each of the levels and set my font type. Once I'm happy, I can rename my customised font selection and click Save. You will see in the background my mind map now it has that font set applied. So if I go back to font and I will see Shout is now at the top of the list. I can of course change it back to any font set I'd like, but if I click on my new one which is called Shout, my mind map gets changed automatically. Moving on to graphics, again by clicking on the drop down arrow you can see a number of different um, graphic options so you will probably find as a, cust as a standard set clean, organic and linear but you can also create your new graphic set by clicking create new at the bottom. So you can start with shadows, this will allow you to put a shadow under each of your branches. You can choose whether the text colour is actually the same as the branch by ticking the box. We've also got the branch thickness or the branch width. So the root branch, which will be your primary branch, your branch one. You can choose the start width of the branch. So I can say maybe make that a bit thinner. I can then choose a secondary branch width, which will then be not only applied to the secondary branch, but all the other branches. So I'm just going to make that a bit thinner as well. Now, the following options will allow you to set more of the graphic styles for the arrows and for the boundaries. So if you have relationship arrows, I can change those to solid, dotted or dashed. Boundary type will allow you to set the shape of your boundary. So its default is cloud, but you can change it to hull round hull, rectangle or rounded rectangle and then the boundary padding so if you do want to change the amount of space around it you can do so in the cloud amplitude and frequency and finally you need to select a name for your graphic options so I'm just going to put the month and click save so again my mind map in the background has adopted those settings I am just going to Select a branch and add a boundary so you can see that that style's applied. I've obviously put a very dark colour in there, but you can see that works. Let's go back to the design tab, and the final option that you can customise is layout. So you have a number of options already here, which will be clean, v4, which mirrors the style of version 4 software. You've got organic and you've got linear, but again, you can create your own new layout. So this will allow you to choose two options, the branch style and you've got the slider here so you can have a very organic branch or if you move it or slide it to the right you've got a linear branch option. The spacing will allow you to set the amount of space that gets in between your branches. So if you've got a very big map you might want to have your branches very close together so you would slide it to the left. But if you were if you felt that uh, white space was important and uh, uh, lots of clear space on your mind map, then move it to the right and that will give you a little bit more room between your branches. I'm going to say go for a little bit more space just so we can see that. And I'm going to just save this as my name, click save, and you can see that we've got a linear branch now and a bit more space in between each of those. Say this is my perfect mind map, say I'm very happy with this style and I feel that I would use it time and time again. I've got all diff four different options applied, so I've got a colour set applied, a font set, a layout set and a graphic set. I can now save this style so I can use it at a future date. So all I need to do is click on save style and a choose a name box comes up and I am going to put this down as blues. So overall style name, click save. 
Now what you'll find in the Styles drop down box at the top, you should find my new style applied. So if I roll my mouse over, you should be able to see the word blues appear and the icon here represents a mini version of a couple of my branches so you can see you've got linear and a very bold typeface there. So you can very very quickly build up a number of different styles which you can then apply to your mind maps for different purposes. So for example if I wanted to do a very creative mind map I might want to use um, this default radio, radial style. If I wanted to go into business I could easily click to my blues um, font selection, sorry style selection. These are some I've made earlier. I've got a green set there, a more organic and a more muted colour selection. So these are just some of the styles you can apply but obviously this gives you a lot of freedom to create as many styles as you want that can be easily accessible and you can apply and make your mind map look very different with just a click of a button. And one final thing, if you do share your mind map with someone else who doesn't have this style because obviously it's very personal to you, this style will be shipped with the mind map so when the um, person you're sharing with the mind map opens it the style will still be applied, so the styles do get shipped with each of your mind maps. We really hope that you enjoy the new custom styles feature that you can find in 5.2. If you need to know where to update, if the software is not doing that for you, simply go to Tools and click Updates and that will check that you've got the latest version of the software applied and 5.2 will allow you to create your own style sets. Enjoy!